CJ dropshipping on Shopify. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use CJ dropshipping on Shopify. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now I'm over here on CJ dropshipping. And for those of you who don't know what CJ dropshipping is, basically a dropshipper account. It's basically a dropshipper that lets you dropship different items with different shipping rates. So one of the cool things about CJ dropshipping is its shipping method. So over here, as you can see on the left side, from China to USA, we have a bunch of different shipping methods, right? So normally, if you are shipping from AliExpress or other, uh, you know, warehouses or so websites, usually it would take you around 30 to 50 days, maybe even more. So CJ dropshipping uses other shipping methods to, you know, lessen that effect. And, you know, you can choose whichever one you want, depending upon a fee, on a certain fee that you pay. So as you can see, the smallest and the quickest time you will get is three to seven days which is dhl official so three to seven days over here then we have 5 15 8 12 8 12 as well 7 15 10 15 and so on so on so as you can see we have different shipping methods with different days that we can use which is pretty decent and really really good if you are looking to use drop shipping now over here let's let me just show you so if you're gonna go ahead and do this we're gonna go ahead and create an account right so to create an account just simply come over here at the top and just simply click on the register button over here once you've clicked on the register button you are good to go so i'm going to be using a temporary email address over here to sign up on both cg dropshipping and shopify as well so let me just first sign into shopify and click on start free trial over here enter in my password and click on create your account so i'm just simply going to skip all of these questions that they're going to ask us and then just simply enter in my country all right so we have now created our store our shopify store and we are good to go now what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and register ourselves on uh, cg dropshipping and once we've done that we are good to go all right so we don't have an invitation code so we'll just leave that blank i believe and then we just enter in our username and we are good to go so for the username i'll just copy the uh first letters of my email address and then just enter in my name and then i enter in my phone number all right so next all you have to do is just choose a platform that you're running your store on so since we want to connect to the shopify we'll just choose shopify we'll just choose shopify and we'll click on submit what survey and then once we have chosen our store then we just select how many orders do we need per day so i'll just say maybe zero because i'm just starting my business and then click on submit and then what category of product do you mainly market and in this one we'll just say um women's clothing and men's clothing so yeah i think that looks good and then we just simply click on submit and we have submitted successfully now we are good to go all right so as you can see we have now created our account we are good to go we just first have to verify our email address over here so it should be over here here we go so we just simply click over here and we verify our account and uh here we go i believe we have now verified our email address why did that not happen that's weird because this is the link right here it should get verified oh well i guess we can't verify it all right but you get the idea then all that's left for you to do is connect your store now to connect your store all you got to do is come over to my cj over here click on my cj all right so here we go so as you can see this is how it looks like now all that's left for us to do is connect our store so over here on the left side we we will have a bunch of different options so what we want to do is we want to click on sourcing or we want to click on store authorization or print on demand uh, i believe here we go so in store authorization we just simply click on shopify and then over here we just simply click on add store so to add the store we just simply have to enter in our store address which is the domain over here so your store name will be the name that you put and then dot my shopify.com so we just copy that and we come over here and we paste it right over here and click on authorize so now all we have to do is wait for it to begin now it's going to take us over here onto these drop shipping or the store application website over here and we just simply have to install the application so we click on so we click on install app and it's going to install the application and we are good to go then it's going to go 
back to drop shipping over here cj drop shipping and we should be good to go now and here we go so as you can see pretty much that's it next all we need to do is just start you know importing products so as you can see authorization success cj will help you make drop shipping business much easier so we are good to go so now it's going to take us over here back to the main website and we should be good to go and then all we need to do is start importing products now now the way cj works is basically it has all the products that you would find on aliexpress it doesn't have as many products but most of the products that you would find over here can also be found on aliexpress as well so if there's a certain product that you find on aliexpress and you want to ship it you can come over here and you can search for it over here as you can see or you can put the url of that product over here into the search bar and just simply click on search and it's going to find you that product so all these products that you see over here these are some of the popular products that people are using to drop ship on their accounts and using it to make money right so we can also do that so importing the product is very simple all you got to do is simply hover your mouse over a certain product and then simply click on connect so for example if we come over here onto jewelry and watches we can see what we want so all right so as you can see we have some jewelry options over here so let's go ahead and do that so for example if we want to let's say import this bracelet all we'd have to do is hover our mouse over it and click on the connect button and what it's gonna do is it's gonna you know put our store it's gonna add this product within our store so let me just sign in over here i don't think i had to okay sorry about that i forgot to verify my account but uh now i have that's why it's not going to sign me out again so let's move on and show you how you can import different product as i was saying that we can import different products right so we tried jewelry but uh let's go with the okay let's go ahead and import some clothes into our store we're going to go over here into the women's clothing and we're going to find some nice clothes so let's just see over here all right so now that it's loaded up so let's go ahead and import a product so let's just say that we want to import this you know this dress all we'd have to do is simply click on the connect button and it's going to take us over here where we can go ahead and import it into our store so it's taking us to my cj which is our dashboard all right so now this is the product right so this is going to be the product from cj automatic matching all right so over here we just enter in the SKU or the product name which is this one right here so let me just actually click on the product and over here we select the store that we want and then we come over here and let me just copy the name of that product and we'll enter that over here but we already have that we just simply have to select the store and maybe then we just simply have to and then but since we've already synced our store so let me just click on sync over here and click on confirm now it's gonna sync so products in stores in this store is being synced so let's just wait for a second okay so this is the product right here uh but we need to first open this product up so i have opened it over here now what we need to do is just simply click on the list icon over here so to list the product and then over here as you can see this is the product and over here we just choose where we want to you know ship it to so over here this is shipping from china we have our store over here we have the product type over here we just have to fill out this form all right so basically over here these are all the images and variants so images and variants so i'm just simply going to select all of them and over here i'll just simply add the new product type all right i'll just say it's basically a it's a dress and then i'll just simply confirm and then i'll just choose dress over here and then over here we have to add a collection but if we don't so over here this is a home page so this is a collection that's already added onto our shopify store so you can go ahead and change or add a different collection for that just simply click on the products and over here click on collection and then over here you can change the collection and create a new collection right but but for now i'm just simply gonna choose the collection that's already added so i'm going to choose the home page over here and then we have to select the vendor we don't have any vendor so we'll just choose that and then we have to change the price as well so right now it's eight dollars so i'm going to choose let's say uh, 15 to 20 dollars because 
of the shipping as well so shipping cost is going to be six to eight dollars minimum and we have our shipping methods available as well so over here as you can see we have different shipping methods so if you want to have fast shipping methods we can go with the dhl service but that's going to cost us like more than twenty dollars so let me actually see over here let me open it up in another tab again like this one over here let me just open it up another tab and see what type of days or shipping days are required with which shipping method and then we can select that so over here it's loading up all right so over here as you can see uh the normal one which is like cj packet ordinary it's gonna cost us up to seven to nine ten dollars all right service fee is also going to be at least one or two dollars total shipping cost is around ten dollars as you can see and the delivery day is 10 to 18 so we don't actually want that we'll actually choose this one which is cj packet yt ordinary it's gonna take us six to ten days and it's actually costing us around eleven dollars of shipping so i think it's pretty nice so yeah i think we we're gonna go with that one six to ten days over here cj packet yt ordinary so over here we'll just choose cj packet yt ordinary over here and yeah for that one it's eleven dollars for the shipping the total price on cj over here as you can see eight eight to five to seven all of that so we're gonna add that total price over here so let me just okay that and then just simply click on list it now and then please select a vendor all right so as you can see it's now listing and we should be good to go all right let's go ahead and check on listing list of products can be managed in listed so let's go ahead and check that out all right so as you can see it's now listed we can go ahead and view it into our store as well so it's going to take us over here onto our shopify store and we can see the product over here all right so as you can see over here this is the product currently all of the things are loading all of all of the description and the name and all of that but generally this is it and as you can see over here this is how it looks like you can go ahead and change the name change the sizes the description however you feel like it and pretty much that's it so that is how you do it that's how you use cj drop shipping with your shopify account so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye